In today's video, I've got five facts about Laffy from the series As a Lane slash a character analysis video. But hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a huge shout out to the As a Lane Academy who have partnered with me in this video to bring more information on the characters and the ships. They are doing a more in-depth review of Laffy, focusing on history and in-game use that I will leave a link to in the description below, as well as their social media link so make sure you check them out anyway with that being said let's roll intro and get straight into the video Laffy is of the Eagle Union nationality. She is part of the Benson class. Her classification is a destroyer and in the popular mobile game that the anime is based on, she is an elite ship who takes 27 minutes to construct. Appearance wise, definitely a lolly, but she is so cute. Laffy has long white hair worn in twin pigtails with bunny ear clips. Her eyes are always sleepy looking and are of a gorgeous red colour. Laffy has narcolepsy, which is a constant tiredness. This is a reference to the fact that the ship she is based off of's action mainly took place during the night. Attire wise, she wears a white and blue strap top with a pink jacket that has white fluffy trimmings and bunnies on the cuffs of her sleeves. The jacket is always slouched over to her left exposing her left shoulder. She has a short red skirt, white thigh high tights and white shoes. Laffy is almost always seen carrying a spotlight in her hands or nearby. This again is a reference to the ship she is based on's combat roles which like mentioned were always at night. This is also included in her retrofit skin in which said spotlights are mounted to the bottom of her pistols. Laffy is based on the USS Laffy of the US Navy. Her namesake was Barlett Laffy, who was an Irish-born US Navy soldier who earned the Medal of Honor during the American Civil War. This Benson-class destroyer was launched in 1941 on October 30th. The USS Laffy was commissioned in March 1942, which marked the start of her incredibly short but nonetheless incredible career. The interesting thing about the USS Laffy is that she was built in the middle of a design change for for all ships. The ships after her would have changes in their armament so that they would be better suited for anti-air and anti-submarine warfare. Because of these changes, the USS Laffy had one of her main guns removed as well as a set of torpedo tubes that left Laffy with an armament that was unique to her. Again, going back to the retrofit, Laffy's retrofit in game is slightly based on the modernization that she would have most likely gotten as the war progressed, putting her on par with her sister ships that came after her with their significant significantly increased anti-aircraft armament. The USS Laffey would be awarded the Presidential Unit Citation, an award for a warship that is the equivalent to that of the legendary Medal of Honor that is given to individual soldiers. Her total awards would be three battle stars and of course the previously mentioned Presidential Unit Citation. Now in honor of the original USS Laffey as well as her namesake, an Allen M. Sumner class destroyer would carry the title of USS Laffey, which would be DD-72 from 1943 to 1975. This ship is currently a museum ship at Patreon's Point in South Carolina. However, many people seem to confuse this Laffy as the one in the game, especially since the newer Laffy is the first to appear in a search engine when looking for her. Laffy's Japanese voice actress is Maria Naganawa. She has voiced other characters such as Komeko in Kodo Suba, Kana from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Ruri in Divine Gate, Placelet from Cells at Work, and more. Laffy's English voice actress is Tia Ballard. She has voiced other characters such as Zero Two in Darling in the Franks, Yu Koito from Bloom into You, Yoshino from Date Alive, Itsuki Nakano in The Quintessential Quintuplets, and more. Going back to the history lesson with this one, let's look at the USS Laffey's service. So, Laffey was ordered to join the fight in the Pacific, conducting anti-sub patrols. She rescued survivors from the sunk flagship USS Wasp and then joined Task Force 64, where she would see her first bit of action. The USS Laffey joined the Battle of Cape Esperance, commonly referred to as the Second Battle of the Savo Island in October of 1942. The battle raged through the night and Laffey managed to hit the cruiser IJA 
Ben Alba hard with three of her five inch guns. While the American ships had taken heavy damage, the loss of the Japanese was far greater. Following this, in November of the same year, transports Laffey had escorted came under attack by a Japanese air raid that would act as the prelude to the final battle for the USS Laffey. During the ship's mid-watch, a large Japanese fleet appeared on the radar. Laffey attacked with everything she had, but was unaware that the Japanese flagship IGN Hiei was heading straight for her. The two ships missed colliding with each other by 20 feet, and the matchup between these two was surely a death sentence for the USS Laffey. However, due to Laffey's size, she was closer to the water level and the IGN Hiei was unable to lower her guns enough to target Laffey. Now, Laffey hit Hiei with everything she had, targeting the ship's superstructure, bridge and crew, even managing to injure the ship's vice admiral and kill his chief of staff. Unfortunately for Laffey, she quickly became surrounded by other battleships. Laffey still gave it everything she had, but was hit by a 14 inch shell from Hiei, and the order to abandon ship was quickly given, but a huge explosion ripped the ship in two and caused her to sink. Now, Laffey would have the last laugh as the IGN Hiei was found and sunk by bombers from the USS Enterprise the following day. Finally, let's finish this video off with a friendship fact. Laffy considers Javelin, Iron Army, Z-23 and Unicorn as her best friends. This is because Laffy, Javelin, Z-23 and Iron Army are all ships that you can choose from for your starting ship when you first start the game. The four of them are often referred to as the Starter Squad. Unicorn is also one of Laffy's closest friends, in reference to most people using her with the Starter Squad to make cheap and efficient fleas. Thanks to their low oil cost, high stats and Unicorn Unicorn's ability to heal all Vanguard ships. Thanks for watching this my video, 5 facts about Laffy from the series as a lane. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, let me know in the comments. And once again, thank you so much to the as a lane Academy for providing information and photographs for some of this video here. Like I said there, doing a more in-depth review on Laffy, link is in the description as is their social links. Now a quick shout out to my 414 Elite Patreons, that in Thomas, Jamie, Autumn, Joshua, Aaron, video Gamer 75 Warwick and the rest of you supporting me on the other tiers. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me and if you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link is in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video as it really does help these videos reach a wider audience and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time my fellow weebs, peace!